break. break. Okay, uh, is your the car still off? Oh, that's oh, it. Makes sense. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock driving test uh, in which I test random people that I've never met before to, and assess their driving to find out whether they're ready for the actual driving test or not. Yeah. Before we get started, any of you that are learning to drive and haven't already done so, please check out the ultimate driving course. Trust me, it's going to help you massively with your driving lessons. And yeah, if any of you want to take part in uh, one of these mock t uh, mock driving tests, all you need to do is um, follow us on uh, Instagram at DJ and Driving and drop us a message. And um, yeah, we just reply to people uh, randomly. Yeah. And um, for those of you who do want to apply, just make sure you're available on Tuesdays and Fridays during the daytime and able to get to Wolverhampton because those are the times um, that I normally film. Yeah. Right then, so today's uh, learner driver is um, Ziona. Yeah. So Ziona, could you tell us a bit about your driving, please? Yeah, I've done like about 20 hours with an instructor, but I've driven like my family and friends around and I've watched a lot of videos as well. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, my videos, yeah? Yeah, your videos, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, you know how it works. Yeah, um, if you do make a fault, I won't say anything uh, during the fault. We'll talk about it at the end of the test, yeah? Okay, okay and for those of you who are watching, um, if Ziona does make any faults, I'll talk about them just before they happen. Any serious faults will be in red text. Any normal driving faults will be in amber text. And serious faults, do you know how many you're allowed on the test? Three. Zero. Zero. Oh, yeah, serious. Okay, yeah, so if you get one serious, yeah, or a dangerous, mm -hmm. um, it results in a failure. Yeah. No. Okay. Right, so um, any questions before we get start started? No. Anything that you haven't covered? Um, not really. Pilot parking and emergency stop. Not really that one. You haven't covered the pilot parking yeah. emergency stop? Okay, well, uh, I won't make you do those then, yeah? No. Um, the show me, tell me questions, have you been through yeah, those? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so could you tell me how you would check your brakes are working before starting a journey? Yeah, I would drive off and then press my brake. It shouldn't feel spongy or, and the car shouldn't pull to one side. Okay, that'll do. Cool. Um, that's it then, so whenever you're ready, if you could uh, move off, and we're going to start off by following the sat -nav, yeah? Uh, okay. Ziona thinks she has started the car, but the engine isn't on. She has to press the clutch pedal and then turn the key. But she should be able to tell that the car is off because of no engine sound and all the lights showing up on the dash. But she doesn't notice and when she releases the handbrake, because of the slope, our car starts to roll forwards. And due to the engine not being on, the steering is difficult to turn. But Ziona still manages to steer. When she selects second gear and brings the clutch up, only then the engine starts. Not a serious fault on this occasion, but it does happen again very soon. I have started the car Ziona gets very lucky when emerging out at this junction. At the end of the road, turn right. Throughout the test, when changing gears, Ziona rushes so ends up in the wrong gear. Here she selects third gear instead of first, so stalls and is sticking out onto the main road. Luckily there were no vehicles approaching and she sorts it out without slowing anyone down. If there were any vehicles approaching, then this would be marked as a serious fault.
I've asked her to park up in a safe place. She signals too early as there is a road to her left. She should have signalled after we had passed that road. On your actual driving test, the examiner will ask you to park up and then move off at least a couple of times. When you park up, you don't have to switch off the engine as the owner does. And when I ask her to move off, again she doesn't realise the car is still off. I do give her enough time but she still can't work it out so I have to help her out. And when the examiner has to intervene like this, it's usually a serious fault. Thank you and move off when you're ready. Okay, uh, is your the car still off? Oh, that's oh, it. Makes sense. Thank you. Turn right, then take the second left. This right turn, she does well but makes another serious fault after the turn. This is an uphill road, so second gear would be fine for now. Ziona selects third and isn't able to get the speed she requires. Instead of going back to second gear, she just stops the car in the middle of the road to sort it out. You're not allowed to just stop the car like that to sort out the gear. It could have easily been done on the move. This is a very steep junction at which a lot of learners struggle. Ziona could have selected first gear earlier on approach, but apart from that, she shows good control by not stalling or rolling back. As soon as we turn right into this side road, there are parked vehicles on our side of the road. This is why it's important to look into and assess the road you are turning into. Ziona reacts really well to the oncoming van. When moving off, she selects third gear again and stalls. I've asked her to park up, which she does correctly, but again switches off the engine. Thank you, and move off when you're ready. But this time, she has worked out how to start the engine and moves off with good observations.
The owner is driving well on this carriageway and is in the correct gear for the speed she is doing. But she decides to select second gear which wasn't necessary. This slowed us down. Earlier on when Ziona stalled, it wasn't marked as a serious fault because we didn't affect anyone. Again, she selects third gear instead of first, so stalls. But this time, there was a vehicle behind us which wasn't expecting us to stop again. Whenever you turn into a new road, it's important to look out for signs and markings. This is a one-way street and Ziona doesn't notice this. And at the end of the road, turn right. And when turning right on a one-way street, you should position in the right-hand lane, but she positions to the left. Here we're approaching a giveaway sign, so I have to give way to traffic that is approaching from the right. Ziona does look and sees the vehicles approaching, but doesn't stop. I had to intervene. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. Right, you got it, yeah? Yeah. Keep to the left lane now, yeah? Continue straight on. Now I'm going to ask her the show me question. Could you show me how to open your window, please? Thank you. And close it. And then park in any one of these bays on the left here, please. We're going to finish off the test with the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. Ziona starts off with good observations before reversing and then continues observing well by checking out of the back window and the blind spots. Our finishing position is quite close to the bay line on our right, but is still just inside the bay. Now that's the end of the test and time to find out what Ziona thought about her driving. Yeah, I'm done. You happy with the position? Yes. Okay. Uh, switch off the engine for me, please. We're going to end the test there now. Sorry? We're going to end the test okay, there. That's, that's it. Yeah, you can leave your belt off. Oh. Okay, so uh, that's the end of the test. How do you think you did? I don't know. I feel like I failed. I know I failed because you had to intervene at that junction when cars are coming. Yeah. But so there's cars and the, mainly the cyclist was coming. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you, the thing is, you were looking that way. 
and I, I, I didn't know if I should go. I didn't actually see the cyclist. I okay. didn't know if I, sh I was supposed to go or wait for the cars. So I thought if I stop, I'm going to block the traffic behind me. Mm. So I thought, let me just go. Did you notice a sign in the markings? Oh, yeah, the giveaway one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you had to give way to, uh, to that traffic coming in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, before that, uh, you know when you started the test as well? The, the car wasn't on? Yeah, I didn't. Different to the car. So, the, the, right. what happened was, you know, when you, we first started from the test centre, yeah. the car just started to, because we were on a slight slope, oh. when you put the handbrake down, it started rolling. Okay. Did you feel how heavy yeah, the steering it was? was? Heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were still managing to turn it though, yeah. Okay. And then what happened was, um, instead of starting the car, what you, you put it in second and bought the clutch up, that started it for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. And then when I asked you to park up again, same thing happened. So, if you turn the key now, Turn the key for me. So, can you see these lights that stay on? Yeah. Yeah. Bottom ones, yeah. yeah. That means the car's not on yet. Okay. So okay. So if you put the clutch down. Yeah. Put the clutch now. down. And start it now. Clutch oh. it down. And then see all the lights go off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how you can tell if the car's on or off. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Take out the key for me. So yeah. Um, I was hoping you would realise no. with the car. Um, you know, when I asked you to move off. But then I had to come in and help you, yeah, okay? Obviously, that, that, that one's not going to happen in your test, yeah? Because yeah. you just the the reason, main reason why that happened, you're not used to this car at all, yeah, okay? So, the stalling, when we left the test centre, yeah, when you stalled, you the, the reason why you stalled, because you were in gear three, yeah? And when you stalled, we went into, into the middle of the road. There was a car behind us, yeah? You reacted quite well, and luckily there was no one coming on the main road. So you got away with it there, yeah? But then again, when we were turning right, you were in gear three again, and you stalled, and there was a car behind us, and he wasn't expecting us to stall. Mm. He started moving here to brake quite all of a sudden, and that's why I marked that as a serious fault, yeah? Mm. And then when we did turn into that road, uh, this is soon after I said we're not following the sat-nav anymore, yeah? It was a one-way street. Did you notice that we were on a one-way street? Oh, no. Yeah, so the way you can tell there were signs there, okay? okay? And uh, if you're turning right, on a one-way street, yeah. What side of the road should you be on when you turn right? Say that again, sorry. So you're on a one-way street, mm -hmm. yeah, and you're turning right. I've asked you to turn right. I'm supposed to be on the... in the middle. So there's two lanes, left or right? Left? No. Uh, right? Yeah, on a one-way street, because you can't get any traffic coming oh, towards you. Okay. Yeah, so you're supposed to be using that side of the road. Okay. 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 Maybe something that you haven't covered in your lessons? I'm not sure. No, I think just because I went into a one-way street, I think that's why. But I have covered turning right into like roads and stuff like. Yeah, that. on a one-way street. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, so um, yeah, there were a few serious faults. Um, gear changes don't rush for your gear. A lot of it was happening because you're just quickly rushing for your gear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and on that one uphill road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when you're uphill, you know your gear changes. Uh, uh, how do they differ? Should they be? Should you change up earlier or later? Earlier, I feel. Later. You're supposed to change them. You supposed to build up more speed because the hill's going to slow your car down, and then change them later. Mm -hmm. But you weren't, you know. And then the, when you're applying the gas, the car wasn't uh, <laughs> moving. Yeah. And then, yeah. then uh, in the middle of the road, you just stopped to sort out your gear. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not allowed <laughs> to do that. Would I get a fail for that? So it stopped, and then. Yeah. So you're in the middle of the road. Yeah. We're not parking up on the left, are we? You're in the middle of the road because you want to sort out your gear. Is it okay to stop in the middle of the road? No. No? You should be able to sort that out while you move. You should have sorted your gear out sooner. Okay? There was no one behind us, but I still marked that as a serious fault there. Oh, cool. Okay? Because you, you can't be, you can't just stop in the middle of the road mm. to sort out your gear. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. You always got to think, how are you going to affect others? Okay? okay. So, um, yeah, just don't rush your gears. And when you're on an uphill slope, mm. change your gears later. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So, practice holds a bit more mm -hmm. uh, with your instructor. Yeah. Okay? Um, cool. That's it, really. Okay, so any questions? No. Cool, so um, thanks a lot Ziona for coming down to do the mock test. And guys, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.